Hello viewers, in this video you'll learn how to build the MammalCam, a waterproof, motion-activated, battery-operated Wi-Fi camera. Most of the details will apply to any project where the goal is to deploy electronics outdoors for long-term data collection. So stay tuned to learn tips and tricks you can use for your projects. This is the MammalCam. The parts come from Adafruit.com and your local hardware store. The waterproof IR camera on top is connected to the waterproof box below using a cable gland. That's the big black thing on the end of the cable. The gland grips the cable and the box tightly so that water can't get in. In front of the cable gland, you can see the DC jack. This is where power enters to recharge the battery. The white dome below the camera is the passive infrared motion sensor, or PIR. It's used to wake up the sleeping feather when it's time to take a picture. The box is strapped to the tree with snap straps, like you'd find on any backpack, so you can easily mount it just about anywhere. The Feather has an Atwink 1500 Wi-Fi interface and is programmed to send the pictures to io.adafruit.com. Waterproofing a project like this isn't hard to do if you have a few simple tools and the right techniques. When you make holes in the box, it's essential that you seal them up again. The easiest and safest way to make the holes is with a step drill. That's the golden thing on the left. Sealing the holes can be done with a purpose-built fitting like the cable gland or by the careful application of sealants like silicone caulk and epoxy. DC jacks don't come with O-ring seals like cable glands, so use caulk to seal out water. Likewise, the PIR's dome is sealed to the lid of the box with epoxy to keep it from leaking. These methods work fine under normal atmospheric pressures. They won't hold back water pressure, so don't count on them for underwater projects. In my garden, the deer don't come around very often, so the mammal cam needs to run for days, waiting for a chance to take a picture. To do that, it saves as much power as it can. The Feather M0 with the Atwink 1500 Wi-Fi module consumes about 12 milliamps when deep sleeping, and around 35 milliamps when it's awake. The PIR adds another 10 milliamps. With 6,600 milliamp batteries, this project can sleep for about 12 days. When it wakes up, the camera consumes as much as 200 milliamps when its lights are on, so the total time between recharges will vary depending upon how many pictures are taken. The low power design saves a lot of energy. The battery would only last about a day if the feather and the camera were always on. Speaking of the battery, this picture shows a simple method for holding the battery inside the box. A little hot glue and some cardboard are all you need. This project depends on the PIR sensor to wake it up when it's time to take a picture. This illustration shows how PIRs detect movement within a narrow temperature range corresponding to the body temperature of the average mammal, or dragon, apparently. This is why I call the project the Mammal Cam. PIRs consume very little power, but they aren't suited for use in circumstances where the background temperature is close to body temperature. Keep this in mind when you mount the PIR. Try to select a location where the background of the scene is cool. Otherwise, the PIR will signal lots of false positives. Here's a project building tip for you. I've found that the easiest method for mounting circuit boards inside plastic enclosures is to use plastic standoff and epoxy. Use screws on the top of the circuit board and standoffs below. In this picture, you can see the screws on the top of the feather and the standoffs epoxied to the bottom of the box. Be sure to clean all the parts thoroughly with rubbing alcohol and a clean cloth. This is essential for getting the epoxy to stick to the parts. To install, simply dab a little epoxy on the standoffs and then set the part into the enclosure. Be sure you know where you want everything to go before you start gluing. Once you stick them in, they're very hard to remove. Straps are a cheap and versatile mounting method that's ideal for outdoor use. Use number 10 by half inch wood screws to attach the straps to the back of the box. Now you can strap the project to a tree or a post. This project comes with software written in C++ that uploads pictures to io.adafruit.com. Here's a picture of my garden showing on my dashboard. If you'd like to learn more, there's a step-by-step -step tutorial with lots and lots of pictures available on GitHub. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.